Hello and welcome to our presentation on learning eye and hand camera calibration from a single image. In this work we studied the problem of online extrinsic camera calibration using deep learning methods that are trained entirely in simulation for deployment in the real world. We consider three different approaches. Firstly, a direct regression method that predicts the extrinsic parameters directly. An input image is passed through a series of convolutional and dense layers to output an encoded representation of the rotation and translation of the camera with respect to the end effector. These outputs are then decoded and combined to give the final camera to end effector transformation. Secondly, a sparse correspondence model that predicts the 2D image locations of predefined 3D landmarks and uses these to establish 2D 3D correspondences. With these correspondences, the PMP algorithm can finally be used to obtain the camera to end effector transformation. Finally, a dense correspondence model that relies on ICP to predict the final camera calibration. From an input image, we regress a segmentation mask of the gripper and a depth map prediction, which we combine to a segmented depth prediction output. Then, we use a direct regression model to obtain an initial estimate of the extrinsics. Finally, these outputs are combined along with a model of the gripper and the camera intrinsics matrix to solve for the camera pose with the ICP algorithm. We train all our models entirely in simulation using domain randomization for sim to real transfer. We randomize the camera extrinsics matrix, the lightning conditions and the colors of the gripper and also insert random background images. We benchmark all our methods against each other as well as against well-established off-the-self classical methods. We use simulation testing in order to evaluate the methods against ground truth labels. We also evaluate all methods with real-world experiments where we compare the standard deviation in the estimate of an apple tag pose in the base frame of the robot. Surprisingly, we find that the simplest direct regression method outperforms both our other deep learning methods and the classical methods tested. To better understand this result, we perform a series of analysis experiments and investigate the sensitivity of different methods to controlled noise. For the classical methods, we observe a high sensitivity of calibration error to noise in the poses of the calibration object. Similarly, for the sparse correspondence model, we notice that very small amounts of noise in the position of the predicted key points result in large errors in the final calibration. Finally, for the dense correspondence model, we analyze the output of the neural network. Although in image space the output looks convincing, in 3D space we notice that those outputs suffer from the smoothness bias of neural network predictions. This makes ICP fail to solve for the correct camera to end effector pose.